Hey guys, welcome back and in this video we will learn how to use uh, AWS Amazon Bedrock to build a RAG system which will retrieve information based on the documents we have provided. So let's dig into it. I'll uh, switch my uh, cam and yeah, so here uh, you have to have an AWS account and you also need to access gain access to the model. So we can use any model for this uh, simple uh, RAG we are going to build. RAG is basically, uh, we provide some data, it vectorizes the data, it stores it in a database, and then it the LLM looks for the vectors in the databases, and then it retrieves, and then parses, and then rewrites it, and then give it to us. That's the process. So let's uh, go ahead and cl click on knowledge bases. This is where we create knowledge bases. I don't have any right now, but I have created. And also you have this option chat with your document. So this will do like a real time vectorization of your data and it will only work for cloud model. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's create a knowledge base here. I'll click on create. And here uh, we have structured data. In the structured data, it will use Redshift, which is really expensive. And we also have Kendra Gen AI index. So this is more reliable than a vector store, they claim it. We will have to see about that. But yeah, let's stick with vector store. This is the most common rag which people do. So I'll be creating a vector store. So YouTube uh, demo. vector YouTube demo. Let's just call that. And uh, you can create and use existing uh, new service role or you can already use an existing role. So here we have few providers. Uh, I'll show you this. So uh, you can load data from Amazon S3. S3 is an object storage service. You can add up to five buckets. They are saying so you can have files in multiple bucket. Like uh, here I have this bucket, I can choose to upload files from in this. Uh, PDFs are not great, you can upload a uh, markdown, you can upload HTML, you can upload some other types of document which is in text format. Okay, uh, let's try this web crawler for now. And uh, I'll click on next. So what web crawler will do is it will crawl the pages and it will get the information to us. It will store it in the vector database. And here we add the sources. Let's say uh, I'll be doing this to my own website. And here, uh, you can uh, limit this to subdomains or uh, default. So in default, it will be only crawling the path. So sibling URL will not be crawled, crawled but uh, what we want is a uh, host only. So all the that belongs to the same host. So aws.amazon then the web pages. All right, so subdomains will be uh, crawled as well. And if you just want subdomains, if you want just uh, amazon.com with a seed URL, then the pages will also be crawled. Okay, yeah, so this is what we want. We don't want to crawl all the other subdomains and this is the timeout. And now what I need to do is include pattern, exclude pattern, this is optional and uh, I am using a default parser. You can uh, describe what should be the chunk. So chunk is, uh, it splits the document into a small sizes. Like if you have like a really big paragraph, it will trim it and put it in different, different, different vectors instead of just big, large document because AI can't process it. You can also select a Lambda function if you want to do something with it. Uh, let's click on next. And here we have this two option. Uh, either we could uh, use Aurora Postgres SQL serverless. Uh, I'm not sure why is this disabled right now. So 
I'll have to, I think, create something. But yeah, open search is the default one and most optimized one. Or you can also use a vector store. Uh, MongoDB is also supported here. Uh, yeah, let's stick with this. Amazon Neptune is like a graph database where you can do all that. Okay, we also have to select. So there are two types of LLM. One is a LLM which provides us the data and another one is which takes the data and produces the vector. So we have this Titan uh, text embedding. Uh, you also have this uh, from Coheres. You can use this or you can use Amazon. Okay. And I'll click on next. This is fully managed service. We don't have to do any, write any Python code, but it also has its limitations. As you can see now, it has started to create uh, this uh, open search serverless database. It will take a while. So if you come here, you can in this open search uh, dashboard, uh, you will get to see like uh, if you have serverless, our databases you'll get to see here so it is creating two so yeah it will take a while i the previous one i tried it failed so i created another one so you can see this is active i deleted the previous one let's go back here and here you can see that it is now creating the role and open search serverless vector database is ready. Do keep this in mind. There is some cost few hundred dollars associated with open search serverless. If you keep it running, if you don't delete it, you will be getting few hundred dollar bills. If that's okay with you, because running large language model and a vector database will definitely going to cost you. All right. So uh, this uh, says successfully now we can click on go to data sources does it work no we are in this data source and now what we need to do is we don't have uh, it synced yet so we select this we click on sync so if we click on sync what will happen is it will start crawling this uh, data source so you see this message on the top that it is crawling it could take several minutes to hours depending on the size of your data and the status is syncing so i'll be back again once this is complete hey guys so it has finally synced the thing is that uh, previously uh, learn aws.io has ai crawl prevention so it won't let it crawl so it failed and i replaced it with my other websites and now it uh, added six pages. So now let's go ahead and uh, you can see that uh, it has completed this sync. And if you want to update sites, you click on here and you can remove and add like eight more URLs. All right, so let's go to YouTube demo. This is our knowledge base, which we created earlier. And now all you have to do is click on test knowledge base. And there are two options. One is just to retrieve the data sources or you can also generate a response based on the data sources which return. And now we have to select a model. So the cheapest model would be Nova Lite here. I'll just go with that. And now what I can do is I can ask questions about the SQL play. So what do you know about Pingu? So Pingu is a famous German show which used like, yeah, it, it is telling us it's a stop animation like Swiss filmmaker. Yeah, yeah, uh, all those things. And here it will quote like this is the page where it got this information from. All right. And if I ask you, uh, what SQL play offers. Yeah, so here it will tell me that SQL play uh, mobile app and web learning practicing SQL command uh, and all that and it took from easy like search. How, how is it getting that information? It will tell you that. 
so if i ask did pingu had brother or sister pingu has younger sister pinga there is no information about pingu having a brother which is true that's i thought it's a brother but it's a sister okay so his parents younger sister yeah so we have given that info on our website so that now it crawls it it fetches it and we can search this in a very expensive way using this uh, rag tool which we built right now using bedrock so there we go and if you come here uh, you will see this is the collection and i uh, don't know how to use open search much so i won't be able to go in and show you hey these are the vectors these are the sources which we have but basically yeah it's a vector means it's a array it's a mat matrix is stored and a content is stored in a database postgres database hopefully and if you click on open dashboard you will get to run the open search commands this is same as uh, apache uh, open ser search so yeah explore on my own add data so yeah these things you can do here or just uh, click on discover maybe you will see something yeah it, it's it's a lot of work i'll in some other video i can show you how to do this how to inspect in what data we have in open search but that's another topic you could have built this uh, on your own deployed a database deployed an llm and all those things but this is pretty straightforward simple llm with rag and let let me show you just retrieval only so who are in the pingu family so let's see what it gives us it just retrieved the vector and gave us the raw information so here it is like uh, giving us all the information and from this uh, this information gets passed to the llm again uh, right now which is uh, amazon uh, what was it nova light so yeah you can uh, select different models and try different configuration here if you click on this then only you need an llm nova light if you don't uh, you just do retrieval only you don't need an llm to parse and again uh, rephrase the data but to update the data you need llm which is uh, which we selected when we were creating the website uh, source and again the source chunk search type uh, you can also set uh, different parameters like uh, you can customize the default prompt this is the default prompt template which gets added and based on this ai retrieves the information which we give and in uh, here we should have this yeah so ideally uh, the temperature is the randomness like do you want the ai to be creative tell things on its own so if you increase this it will just increase hallucination if you keep top p around something 0.204 it works okay and the response length is uh how big you want the response to be and this is not how many characters it's the token yeah so there we go uh let's ask another question is sql play free yes sql play is free to use yeah start learning however there might be some in-app purchases that requires payment which is true so with temperature zero you get like real data real results and this is how you do these things and you can totally integrate this with an api call i have done that using node.js sdk beat python you just call that api and you pass the knowledge base id and you get the result so i'll see you in the next video if you want to learn more about aws you can check out my course at learnaws.io 
And if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.